Okay. Okay, if it gets wiggly, it's because we're walking up the stairs. We're trying to show you how it feels when you go up to the second floor. You go up a ways, you have a landing, and then you go up six more steps. And we're going to go to the left, which is the master bedroom, the larger bedroom. You'll see the arched area. When we go through the arched area, we're going to turn to the left. This is where you could easily put in another bathroom and not take away from this room at all. You'd probably want to be a little creative so that you could leave your decorative windows. But then you'll see we're turning around and you still have a nice large bedroom. If you were doing a bath, you could probably add a little bit more closet space. It's typical of an old house, the closet space is not huge. This is uh, mostly original windows, stomps and screens, fans in most of the rooms. Now we're going down the hallway to the next bedroom to the left. This one's kind of neat because it has a seat in the corner, window box sort of thing. And then you have a little porch. So when the weather's nice, you can sit out, read a book, enjoy your music, right off your bedroom. And yes, I'm sure all this wallpaper would come off. Usually when you put a wallpaper on of this quality, you do a good job underneath it. This is your third bedroom. Um, just a kind of a good size regular room. Small closet. Now we're going to show you the combination laundry bath that we were talking about. You have your cabinet area with the washer and dryer stackable. And then you go into a very bright open bath. That was me waving to you. And you see it's light, bright. You've got a nice size tub, a jetted tub, and a wonderful skylight up above. I think that's a jet. I'm sorry, not a jetted tub, regular tub, but good size. Thank you.